will now show you how to finish off that runner. Um, uh, I uploaded last week. So when you get to the last, the, the last um, row, instead of crocheting seven, you just crochet three to finish it off, right? And let's start on this side. So, okay. Three, oh. One, two, three. Now this stitch, I have an earlier video of how to do this stitch. Like I said, you could do runners, curtains, or a dress. I showed you the dress earlier. Chain three instead of chain seven. Slip stitch. Chain three. Chain three. Three sing uh, double crochets. One, two, three, chain three, slip stitch, chain three, slip stitch, chain three, single crochet, chain three, Two double crochets, chain three, single crochet, chain three, two double crochets. Now, and slip stitch here. Okay, now you're in the corner. What I did, this is how I figured this out. There's no really, no instruction, you do it by eye. I slip stitch on this following three. So I'll make that my corner. One, two, three. Slip stitch here. Okay, then I'll work myself down this side to finish it off. So chain three, single crochet, and you work it like you did the top, basically. Chain three, two double crochets, Chain three, single crochet, chain three, two double crochets, and slip stitch here. Chain three. Slip stitch here. See? You finish the side here. Isn't that neat? Chain three, single, chain three, two doubles. Chain three, single, chain three, two doubles, and slip stitch, chain three, and 
and you go down the line chain three single chain three two doubles chain three single chain three two doubles slip stitch chain three slip stitch chain three chain three two doubles oops chain three single chain three Two doubles, slip stitch, and so on. So, gotta bore you with the rest. It will look like that. That's the side. Okay. Now, next tutorial. Um, I'll show you I basically made this this is one panel for um, baby dress for my girlfriend she just had a baby and I will show you how to connect the panels so that they would be seamless and how to make the uh, the upper part of the dress. I have to figure that out yet. I haven't figured that out. But uh, like I said, you could make this into a dress. I showed you the uh, the candy apple dress I made out of this this stitch. It's basically the same principle, only fuller and shorter <laughs> and uh, like I said I don't work with patterns so that the term is I wing it see what works and if it doesn't I take it off I take it apart and then try something else so this is a work in progress and you will be part of how I make a dress without a pattern, without instructions. And that's why when uh, people, you know, view my uh, subscribers ask me for instructions, I can't really give it to, it be to them because I make it as I go, make it up as I go. So there's really no instructions and they really really hard to write down and yes I admit I can't really read instructions that much that easy like some people like my aunt who taught me she could read an instruction like nobody's business but I can't I can't figure out all the uh, shortcuts and whatever it's just can't read it so that's why I make it up as I go so Almost done. All right. 
That's how to finish a runner. And next week I will show you how to make a dress with a stitch. Um, do the seams. Okay? Alright. Bye.